Hello everyone. I'm Hi. so glad that you joined Kelsey and I. She is a familiar face to you. And we've just got a word I believe that the God has put in in our spirit tonight and it's called make it better. Make it better. So look, we can make it better or we can make Somebody it worse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to make it better. Okay. I just lost Kelsey. <laughs> okay. Kelsey has her cousin here, and she's her little cousin, and she needed something right away, yeah, didn't she? she sure did. And you made it better. Mm -hmm. She made it better. <laughs> Just, I mean, on the spur of the moment, make it better. Yeah. So we can make things better, or we can make it worse. And this all started with just a couple days ago. Um, I was at my mom's house, and the night before, you know, she's in her early 80s, well, she's 81, and she made this big country meal, I mean, beans and I don't know if it's cornbread or biscuits or whatever, but fried potatoes. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. The whole meal deal. And she had some, like, her floor felt kind of greasy because, I mean, Kelsey, uh, Country Meal's got a little bit of, oh, little yeah. bit of grease in it. It makes it so You know, good. fat's where it's at. Fat mm -hmm. makes it taste yeah. good. So her floor was all greasy. So, I thought, you know, I was helping her clean her kitchen. And uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to mop this floor. I grabbed... I grabbed something out of the cabinet that I thought was pine saw, and it turned out to be corn oil. And I, I oh, just, no. I know, I threw it all over her kitchen floor, and I was like, "Oh no, that's not pine saw, that's corn oil." And so I completely made it worse, Kelsey. It was a mess. It was worse, and we don't like to make things worse, right? Mm -hmm. We want to make things better. So, Kelsey, you've got some stories. Of when you wanted to make something better, but you made it worse. Oh, Tell yeah. us all about it. Yeah, so I have a lot of stories. If I honestly had a dollar for every time I've opened my mouth and I probably shouldn't have, I'd be rich. <laughs> um, but one of my one of my favorite stories, uh, when I was in kindergarten, uh, my teacher, I guess we were being disruptive during reading or whatever we were doing, and so disruptive that we had to sit at our desk and put our heads down like this. And uh, the teacher got up at, in the front of the class and said, uh, I better not hear another peep. And if anyone does make another peep, you're going to end up in detention. And I'm probably five years old. And I have my head like this. And I leaned up and I go, peep. Really, really loud. And I got, I got in trouble for it. And it made everything worse. And the whole class was in trouble. So, <laughs> you just I couldn't stand it, right? No. I, had, I just had to say it. Now, Kelsey, you've, told, you've talked to me about... Of course, you know, this is, look guys, this is natural. This red hair, isn't it beautiful? It's natural. And by the way, we are in the green room at church. Uh, it's a literal green room. <laughs> so if you wondered, but you've talked about having uh, like your temper or anger, mm -hmm. anger issues. Yeah. Can you tell us about wanting something be, to be better and it got mm -hmm. worse with, with anger? Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So it kind of, I guess you could say it. redheads have a short fuse. A lot of people want to say. And I don't know if it's necessarily a short fuse for me or if it's that I hold stuff in for so long and then I finally explode. And when I was drinking a lot, um, a lot of the time it would happen when I was drinking. So I'd wake up the next morning and I would feel ashamed and knowing I had to apologize to somebody because I know my mouth <laughs> was running. That you knew night. you had to apologize to somebody. Yeah. You're not sure who at the time, but, mm -hmm. you know, but sometimes and you felt worse the next day. right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we want to go into some word tonight. Proverbs 15 and 1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So when we think we're going to fix it and we're going to make it better, what happens? It makes it worse. Oh, yes. <laughs> it makes it worse. Have you ever heard someone say, that's the worst? Mm -hmm. You know, that even the kids, a lot of the kids will say that if something happens, that's the worst. Mm -hmm. But we, and we can feel the worst, mm -hmm. but God is in the business for making it better. And he wants us to. He, he wants to make it better through us too, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And I thought about this. Psalms 118 and 8 says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So it's better to trust in the Lord, you know, because we can trust in ourselves or we can trust in someone else mm -hmm. and we find it being worse. Oh, yeah. You know, so he's saying just trust in me. Mm -hmm. Psalms 84 and 10 says, For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Wow. So look, what's better, okay, what's better than dwelling with, with the wicked the is God. Yeah. going to church. Yeah. He said, I'd better, I'd, I would rather dwell in your house, dwell mm -hmm. in, you know, the, to be even the doorkeeper of your house than to be with, with the wicked or, or something that's worse or something that's negative. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm, I'm going to tell you that that is the worst, right? When when you feel, if you felt like if you were in the wrong place, mm -hmm. hey, tell us about that, Kelsey. If you've been in the wrong place at the wrong time, and how did it make you feel inside? You Not good. You just have like a dark feeling. It just, you just don't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. You shouldn't be there. It's conviction. Right. So what is better? Proverbs 16 and 9 says, Better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. So that's what's better, to be humble, mm -hmm. right? In situations when oh, yeah. we can be, you know, we can let it rise in us mm -hmm. and try to fix it and it makes it worse. Mm -hmm. But he's saying just be humble and humble is better. Hebrews 11 and 40 says, For God has something better in mind for us so that they would not reach perfection without us. So God is saying, I have something better for you. You may be going through the worst time of your life. Kelsey, tell me about that. You've gone through some stuff that was that mm -hmm. was pretty bad. I mean, not so long ago, you had COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, you got it twice, right? Mm -hmm. Turns out, I think I had mono too. Yeah, so I mean, that that's just like the worst. Yeah. And you went through that time, and but you were saying, God, I... Please make it better. Mm -hmm. You know, you may be you may be sick today, or you may be you may be going through something, some emotional duress, and it doesn't feel very good. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, God, He wants to make it better. He has something better in mind for you. And you know, here's when He can make it better. And I've got to tell you something. When you're going through a tough time, Kelsey, you're learning this. She's been saved for one year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And remember, we've been walking this out with her. And there's no better life, is it? Mm -mm. Nope. And so you have learned something, though, how you can make it feel better mm -hmm. and how things can change in your spirit. And so this is something that happened this morning when I was in prayer. I got a, a, a text earlier from a, a lady. And so I ministered with her. And it was this scripture. And this scripture happened three times within like 15 minutes wow. from different sources. Okay, so God wow. confirms his word mm -hmm. to make you better. Um, he he confirmed it, you know, out of the mouth of two or three, it shall be established. This not, didn't just happen twice. It happened three times. And so it's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. And everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So when you're going through a tough time, I want to tell you something. That if you just stop, and it feels like the worst time ever, if you just stop and you give him thanks, something's going to happen. Mm, it's true. Kelsey, oh, yeah. give me an example. There's, I mean, recently I've been struggling with some anger problems and little things that used to bother me and trigger me so bad. I would, I mean, I would let it bother me for days and I would, I mean, I would just, it was like a switch would flip. And now once, once I start to feel like I'm getting angry again, I, I really do. I just start thinking about all the things I'm thankful for. I actually did it this morning on my way to work. I was not in a good mood at all. And I just was like, you know what? Thank you, God, for my house, my apartment, my car, like the air in my lungs and it just everything. Like, I don't have any reason to be upset or mad right now. That None. is that is awesome. And that's the key to making things better. So, mm -hmm. when, listen, thanking him releases your mind from any negative focus. Mm -hmm. You may think this is the worst. This is the worst thing I'm ever going through. But if you stop and you begin to thank him like mm -hmm. Kelsey has learned to do yeah. in her walk with God, it releases your mind from any negative focus. And guys, I just can't wait to tell you this. So first, this scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, I released it. I texted it to an individual I was ministering with. And Kelsey, immediately I got a text from my sister who just sends, she sends a scripture every day. And this was the scripture in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You know, she gave that, and then I open up Jesus Calling, and it says, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This is our word today. He says, give thanks. And here's here is the thing, um, that when we give thanks and praise to the Lord, you know what he does? And this he, he will show you us this in Scripture. So this is what he does, Kelsey. He ambushes our enemy. When we thank him and we praise mm -hmm. him, he ambushes our enemy. And so ambush means to attack by surprise. Mm. You know, when they're not even expecting it, it's a, to attack by surprise. And here's the scripture that proves that, Second Chronicles 20 and 22. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon, Ammon and Moab. Moab. Moab and Mount Mount Seir, Seir who were These invading are Judah, names. <laughs> and they were defeated. And they were defeated. So let me tell you something. This is what thanks means. 
I mean, when you thank him, this is what it means in the Greek, and this is what it does it, to your heart. Mm -hmm. it, it's not it's not just joy and and it uh, benefits you and and you experience the favor of God. It's the gift and the grace. It gives God pleasure and delight. But this is what it does to your mind. It's a divine. It's a divine influence upon the heart and its reflection in the life, including gratitude. So automatically, that negativity releases mm -hmm. from you when you begin to thank Him. Yes. And it is God's highest and best for you. And so everybody say better. Better. Okay, you know here's an acrostic coming right <laughs> now because it's the ambushing of the enemy. Why does giving thanks make you feel better? How does it make it better when you feel at your worst? And everybody say better. Better. Why does, and we'll say it again, why does giving thanks make you feel better? This is the acrostic. Because every time the enemy runs... Ooh, because yeah. every time the enemy runs, mm -hmm. remember God sets ambushments against your enemy when you begin to thank him. Mm -hmm. It brings, listen, it brings God delight Ooh, and pleasure right. when you begin to thank him. And I'm telling you what, what you're going through, he's going to make it better. Oh, yeah. He's going to make it better for you. And so Kelsey, tell them how God has made it better and he's teaching you how to do war. Mm -hmm. You know, how to praise him He's in in the midst of your uh, turmoil, in the midst mm -hmm. of your situation, in the midst of emotional duress at the moment. Okay, right. tell, tell them about that. Yeah, just, uh, I'm sorry, that distracted me. Uh, how does it, okay, how does it make, tell them by experience that you have learned, again, you've learned to thank him. Mm -hmm. And what do you feel happened? Because see, God's better. He wants it to make it better. And, and so... It's God's highest and best. It makes it better. So how, mm -hmm. how, do you, how have you experienced that in your walk with God? You know, of just, I mean, really, when you, again, you drove down the road mm -hmm. and you thought, you know what, I'm not going to be troubled with this. Right. So you um, gave him that offer of thanks. I just know, by the way, my little cousin came in here again, so I'm sorry. I just got to throw that out there. That's why I'm a little distracted. Um, so. <laughs> I can't go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Question. But you I'm know sorry. what? It's okay. If you get distracted, what do you do? Because, you know, we can really get distracted. Just, again, I'm easily distracted. If somebody in his room, I turn yeah. my head. But that's the way the enemy, he will try to distract us. And mm -hmm. we can't turn up to the right or to the left. He's saying, keep looking forward and begin. don't see the, the circumstance around you that's worse. Mm -hmm. Keep looking in front of you and say, God, thank you. You're going to make it better. Everything's yes. going to be all right. And that's what he does. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to thank you. I'm going to praise you. And you began to thank him in advance, and all that negativity comes off of yep. you. Remember, and he ambushes the enemy. What's better? Because every time the enemy runs, that's mm -hmm. better. That's the acrostic when mm -hmm. we begin to praise him. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I'm going to have Kelsey pray for you because she understands what it's like to feel at your worst, mm -hmm. and then God make it all better, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. So lead us in prayer today. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, God, I just, I come to you humbly, and I just ask that my message reaches someone tonight, and I hope that I'm, I help Jesus. someone tonight. I'm just, I'm so thankful to be here right now, God, and uh, yes, I, thank you. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen, and he is. He's using you. Send her up some hearts, will you? I'm telling you what, we're seeing her grow in the Lord. It's exciting. It's awesome. Well, listen, let me tell you something. God loves you, and we love you, yes. and have a great rest of your night. All right. Okay. It's going to be better. I promise you. Yes. All right. Bye-bye.